Yeah, like they, they decided I wasn't even camera ready, so they replaced me with a puppet. Like that's that was my job. I'm actually. Did you get to keep your puppet, by the way? No, they said they would get us puppets, or we'd get to keep them, or they'd get new ones. But I don't know if that's happening yet or not. If, if you're listening, Bruno. I didn't get a puppet. <laughs> Do we get puppets? Do uh, my heart will be broken if I don't get a puppet. Basically, Paul's as well. Paul was so keen on getting to getting a puppet. Well, if I had a puppet, skating. I would be it would be bald. So <laughs> I could join the ranks of Shane and Berian. Yeah, yeah, so. they, they had some good-looking puppets. Don't worry. <laughs> I said it was bald, not that it would be good-looking, but... Uh, all right, <laughs> here we go. Secret will be on the Radiant side. They lead 1-0 on the best of three guys. Uh, what good gods, I would say. Not amazing, but good. Yeah, uh, it's I, I think even yesterday when they were losing, they still looked decent. It was one of those things where... At the end of yesterday, I think you even asked me, like, oh, what do you take away about these new rosters? I was like, yeah, Secret lost, but I don't think Secret fans should be worried or concerned about how they play. They versed a, a very solid-looking newbie team. I think they had right. decent-looking games for the most part, and Dying over time, it looked, they looked promising. So we saw absolute domination from them in Game 1. A lot of it coming down to a fifth pick Omni, but hey, some, that, that's part of the draft. And this time around, LG is like, it's not going to be part of this draft. It's going to get banned out. Yeah, they do, again, go back to the well for the IO Batrider in... You know, against an OD, that Astral can be a real nuisance for the bat initiation, especially if he doesn't remaining. go on the OD. And then you've got the Oracle as well, so you've got two heroes that are pretty good against bat Five in a vacuum. Yeah. Do you? How much do you like value this IO bat opening? Because LGD, it's clearly very powerful to them. They've gone to it two games in a row now. It, it's one of those things where right now this patch, I don't think there's any opening you can say is like the right opening or a better opening than another, but. I think the downfall of this opening is that's the same one you just did. So Secret have already versed it. They know how, they've already beaten it. Um, I don't like the idea of doing the Ten exact same opening three. two games in a row when you've just lost badly with it. Even if you can say, look, we didn't execute this opening well. Let's Five adjust. Let's ban Omni Knight because maybe that draft they think would have worked if not for the Omni Knight. I'm not sold that was the only problem, but. Uh, for me, they should be. Typically, when you lose a game like that, you want to change up your opening in game two. So I'm not not a fan of them going for the same thing two games in a row. Well, let's see if they can make it work this time around. Secret, even though they dealt with the spin, they don't want to play him again. They will ban it out. Leaving the IO partner Ten pool a bit limited me. now. Of course, we've seen the Storm run together with IO uh, for Secret. Five seconds Not a hero. We, haven't, we don't have too much tape on LGD. Not a hero they've been running. Uh, last game, they had the Timbersaw, who's like an okay time. IO partner, I suppose. But yeah, we'll have to see where they want to go with it. Yeah. That's you know, it's not just that's the thing. LGD can be like, oh, we'll adjust and ban the Omni, ban the Axe, ban these heroes that were bothersome last game. But Secret themselves will be like, well, we'll ban that spam which you have, which could have become a problem for us because they didn't really contest this farm. At most, a lot of points in that game, he was the most farmed with the Timber Source. So I mean, LGD had a decent start with their two main carries, but um, Secret had all the answers in terms of countering them through their hero pick. So. I think recognizing that secret's like, look, we may not have the Omni this game. Let's ban the Sven. Let's let's adjust. Juggernaut. Uh, Juggernaut will be snagged here by Team LGD secrets. Forever Time Young. So they get a safe, stable core. Someone who doesn't need a whole lot of help. Worked out for MP pretty well last time around. Uh, we've seen a lot of the mid jug as of late, but OD definitely not an easy hero to lane against on your own. Yeah, I guess with the IO, Ten like IO kind of me. enables you to run a lot of other mids that normally have bad matchups. Some of the bullying, the lane winning mid heroes um, that you don't, there's, it kind of limits your mid pool, but having an eye on your team means like, okay, I can sit there, can refill your bottle, can stack your camps, guarantee some farms, uh, even just heal you up with the Ayo's bottle itself. So this does allow you to run more heroes mid, but I'd still say more likely we'll see a safe lane jug. Third pick for secret now. What do they go back to the well for? Anything in particular? We've seen the 4 of Tidehunter a lot. He's pretty good against Batrider. Not so good against Jug. I want to see some support Marana. See a puppy or pilot puppy, eye Marana. Puppy Marana. Normally plays it. Yeah, pilot eye will play the Oracle. Hmm. Yeah, the Astral has said the Arrow, you there's know? Also X, guess... There's also the Kunkka. I almost said X. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just the, the, the hero that has the X ability. Uh, Kunkka is yeah. a much better pick than Marana. <laughs> Probably, I would say. So, it gives you some team fight. <laughs> Kunkka's like. All the like quote unquote like really strong meta heroes right now seem to be like four position heroes, ETs, Kunkers, I guess, and then you have the four. Oh, I don't know. That's probably not true. You have the SD Oracles in the five position, Jar Ranger, of course, the carry. That's the top pick right now. But 
Kunkka played right is just insane. Well, secret. There's another full position. Ogre. Here. So bloodlust for the OD. Uh, yeah. Why is nobody else running Beastmaster? By the way, is why is that EG the only team that values that hero so highly right now? I think teams just stop playing it after TI, and it's a hero you can't just suddenly decide to draft Ten having not scrimmed or practiced with it. It's a very different play style. Ten I mean, obviously you have all the vision, time. which you need to like. You play differently when you've got all the vision. Uh, it's a hero that, laning wise, plays very differently to other heroes because he comes online uh, with his level six, and then you go smoke gank. Other offlaners come online more with like maybe a blink dagger or they contest the lane a bit so it, he's he's less team fight focus i guess is the main thing too um typical Five offline is it's like your remaining. void your tides your doxies they're all team fight specialists um in that way but beastmasters kind of functions Reserve differently because he's a pushing style initiator which is not really what most teams look for in their offlaner fourth but pick now he's a, he's a great hero like i don't i don't have any any reason why you shouldn't pick him so um i mean am i like just grab an iron talon go to the jungle show up five minutes later you're level six and yep. get to work <laughs> well, it has been very effective for some <laughs> <laughs> right. worked out great we were a little skeptical we're like eh, is he gonna be able to get away with this can they punish his greed but they really like they they did some stuff to slow him down but for the most part he was very impactful you want to make sure one of your carries is like a fighting Ten style carry that can pair up with him, and that's exactly what EG did. They had RTZ playing Ursa, they had him playing Slark, Five they had these heroes remaining. that would get like one item and then go fight, not just farm away. So um, you've got to have a kind of heroes that fit around the Beastmaster. Uh, so Morphling the choice now for Team Secret. Uh, natural Lincolns, uh, Sphere Builder, fairly difficult to relocate gank uh, and even lasso later on in the game. Could go well with the bloodlust, so still looking for that final core to tie things together for Secret. Definitely feels like it will be a 4F hero, and something that can ideally take team fights because they are very lacking in that regard. Yeah, I, I think 4Fs, yeah, <laughs> this is where I may be put on that Tidehunter again, Darkseer. Darkseer not amazing, I don't think, by any means. It's a hero that just kind of plays too slow, and you don't want to pick Darkseer when you've got two other farming cores necessarily, so maybe something that's a bit faster tempo. But I really like Tide versus Bat IO. So you yeah. don't really want to relocate on him. You can't really lasso him, and you can't ignore him either until the late game. So mm. unless so LGD weird. like have a, a lane counter prepared to just really punish him uh, from the early yeah. stages of the game. Well, it's, it, Witch Doctor does all right with the Maledict, but you can again Iron Talon Jungle. There you go, your best friend. But. Uh, Secret can even help out the lane with the Ogre, so we may see them try and contest the off lane. Io means the lanes are going to be a little bit weaker. Timbersaw ban, interesting. I do not think that was the way Secret were headed. No, neither. I, it may be a hero that... Well, I was about to say, if it could be a hero that counters what LGD want to pick, but LGD have the last overall pick, so I, I don't think you're really necessarily... Maybe you have something planning and you're worried they'll pick the Timber and Ten then you can't pick the hero remain. you want, but Timber doesn't stand out to me is the pick that they wanted, like you said. I mean, they're not very good at killing a Timber, I suppose, and you already want to be able to lasso the Morphling, but I don't know. That seems a little odd to me. Storm will be now banned out to round things out, so secret. Fifth pick to come. Morph is such a good pick this game. It's really good against the Jug, even though it's right against Batrider, because he goes Lincoln Sphere, so he's not worried about Lasso. And even you get Lasso, it's like, well, I'm going to Morph some strength. What do you... How are you going to actually kill him more? What damage does LG have to kill him off right now? It's like non-existent. The void. Oh. And the Void. There's your team fight. So. All right. So a little bit of a different twist. Uh, but still great against IO. Uh, can really punish Juggernaut in team fights. Makes it very difficult for him to stay active and be hitting. Good setup uh, for the OD. And they have plenty of damage to dump in the Chrono. Ten it's like kind of unconventional remaining. damage, I guess, but Oracle brings a lot of nuke damage to the table. Yeah. Even the multicast Five can be nice. Remaining. Shotgun Morphling can really hit hard. And of course, OD. But oh. gods, are they ready for this fella? The ugly yeah. troll monster is back. This is why you ban Timbersaw then. Okay, that, now the Timbersaw ban makes a bit more sense. But even so, it's one of those weird things. If you. Like banning it kind of tells Secret you're picking a hero that's going to be countered by it. So maybe Secret would have banned out like the Husker or something. Because they had, I think Secret had the last overall ban. And then, yeah, they had the 10th the ban of the, the draft. So maybe if they saw that Timber ban, they would have thought, ooh, they're going to pick a Husker. So I feel like if anything, you want to try and hide the Husker and just leave Timber there. And, because they're not going to ban, they're not going to pick Timber. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Huskar, how 
how good of a Huskar game is it, is the question. They have an OD. They have some pretty decent physical damage later on in the form of the Morphlane. With the Void remain. Bash's magic, you've got almost exclusively nuke damage from these su secret supports. Uh, Morphlane generally likes to go for Shotgun. Uh, so really your only reliable way to kill Huskar is that OD uh, orb, the Arcane Orb. Mm -hmm. Is that but enough? It's not a whole whole lot to do with the Husker, that's for sure. I'm just, I'm not liking the LGD draft like as a whole. Like what they've got as far as they're la really lacking in team fight. This Jog mid is not like a, a very good hero to have against the OD. But the Husker, this is a good Husker game. It's just the rest of the draft. I'm just like not feeling. I, I definitely prefer Secret draft. I think it's much more well rounded. They have great synergy with the the Chronosphere and the damage they can throw in it. The Bloodlust on all three of their cores is very powerful. This game. Their lanes are really solid. Like everything about Secret's draft is just like looking really good. The only thing looking good about LGD's draft is the fact they have a fifth pick Husker and there's no great counters in the game. Like direct but... counter to it. Uh, they still do have good lockdown though. They've got the Astral yeah, to kite him, it's... a stun from the Ogre. You've got uh, the lockdown of uh, Fortune's End uh, from the Oracle and you've got the Chrono and the Bash. So yeah, they can't kill him quickly, but they, they might be able to just control him easily. <laughs> You can disarm him too with the Fate Seed. You can ignore him very easily. That's the other thing. You Astral him, focus everyone else. You Fate Seed him, focus other people. Um, I, I think Secret, a lot of their heroes, just the way they match up is just look really good. Like you have the Astral to save against the Lasso. You have the False Promise to save against the Lasso. Like this is a really hard game for LGD to secure kills. They need to snowball off of like a good laning stage from Huska. So it, Although is it looks not, like Huska will be going mid. It, it's know. not the Jug mid. It will be the Huskar, as you mentioned. And uh, Monet actually going to start things off with a completed magic wand versus uh, the OD Ogre. That is hmm. a, an odd lane to start with a wand in. It's yeah, it's just like getting stat items and then obviously a bit of heal from the the one charges. But maybe he's expecting the Oracle to like help out here a bit. I guess I'm not sure. Yeah. Probably seeing pick up level two in the vitality maybe for some heal. But he's already even bullied. Well, as as scary as Huskar is later on, he is not very good at level one. The Spears uh, take the same amount of health at all levels. They don't do all that much damage. You generally don't have that much regen to support using them. And, of course, you won't have your Berserker's blood at this stage of the game. So, a couple auto attacks from Puppy, and Monet's already smarting. Hmm. And I think Ogre has to be the best, like, support to duel mid with right now. Probably the strongest, because even if the opponent's duel mid and start harassing the Ogre and he's melee, he's 8 armor. He's so tanky. You can't even... Harass it. I mean, Huska's probably one of the better heroes because he's got magic damage, but Ogre level 1 is just a monster. And that's where this dual lane mid is really strong for Team Secret. And they get some good damage on him. Uh, and at the same time, Monet able to fire back a little bit. Puppy's still hanging out in the neighborhood, so we'll take a quick survey of our other, other lanes here. It's 4 Ev. There's an off lane void up against the Juggernaut and a Witch Doctor. Not a very easy kill lane on the void. And with the early bounty rune off to a pretty good start. As Secret did grab both bounties to begin the game. Young for you, playing the offlane bat, his, his uh, counterpart, and oh, MP and Pile I Die so far. It seems like they're free farming on this Morphling. They're free farming, they're zoning him. Void's actually getting XP, so offlane's looking much better for Team Secret. Void's even getting CS. He's got five denies as an offlane Void with four CS, so uh, offlane wise, looking very good for Team Secret. And then come, the, come the mid lane. Mid one doing pretty well here. This pilot I don't just creep in under cover of invis. Yeah, he, I think he may have been dead if not for an invis right there. The bat and the Io were around, but okay. he's back to zoning Yao. Yao is just oh, here comes bullied. Puppy for up trying to bait this one a bit. Out comes the ignite. The four up so low. I don't know if he can get the kill. Actually, that physical damage from the ogre auto tag gets the job done. It's so soak to the rescue, and now Puppy. Might be able to get a secondary kill here. There is a salve on Super, but if you could just ignite him and keep on clubbing him, I don't know that Super makes it out. He's got the slightly better move speed, but with that slow, he is going to get hit at least once more. If they can get that last auto attack oh, off, it would be enough, but not quite in time. Yeah. So, decent trade for uh, Team Secret getting the first blood, going the way of the Ogre. Void perhaps didn't need to go back in and die there. He didn't have the time walk up. He went aggressive, thinking that he needed to help secure the kill. But either way, it's an off lane where Void is now level three and a half. Batrider's only just now hit level two. Very late level two for Batrider. He can theoretically start stacking and trying to jungle, but even level two on Bat, you jungle very slowly. And that 
is not really what he wants to be doing because Morphling has got a complete free farm lane. He can just farm away, push the tower when he likes. This is looking really good laning wise for Team Secret. Yeah, they're they're more plain as you mentioned. Absolute free farm and still the OD doing quite well mid despite the early pressure. They're slowing down the Huskar. They got the first blood. Nothing really snowballing for an LGD lineup that it feels like needs to have a good laning stage because yeah. they're just up against such overwhelming team fight and late game gods. And I love what MP's doing. He's farming not just the lane creeps, but the jungle creeps. He pulls both creep waves over to the side camp. He knows his lane's empty, so he's like, well, I can fa free farm the lane, but I can also free farm the jungle and maximize his farm. So this is just really good efficient play coming out from him. He's at 26 CS. He's double the Juggernaut CS. I mean, that's not just him free farming. That's also the Void shutting down the Juggernaut lane a bit, but it's just all around really good play from Team Secret. Yeah, and it's just the beauty of the Void pick is they're not very good at zoning him at all. They have a cask, and that's their only stun. There's no follow-up in the lane until they get the lasso. There's simply no way they can prevent him from getting this experience. You don't have like the likes of a Disruptor, uh, who can counter Time Walk easily with a Glimpse, and there isn't a Silence, uh, such as a Skyrath Sky Sky uh, Mystic Seal to, to keep him in place. So he's able to get what he wants out of the lane. Even the OD versus Husker, the one lane, perhaps LGD were hoping would go better with the IO's presence is not going particularly well for them. This is just going to come down to Husker getting his levels and then ideally becoming a, a strong fighting force, but I'm not even sure that's going too well with the dual lane. IO's leeching a lot of the experience and Monet's still only just level 4 right now. And with Huskar, you need, the, you need not only a fast Starmlet, which he's not really getting, but you also do need your levels. You want to max Berserker's blood, you want to get at least a couple points in her vitality, you need the ultimate, uh, and ideally max the Burning Spear, so you really don't hit your peak until like that level, you know, 9 to 11 range or so, but he is nowhere near it. Yep. And at this rate, it will be a delayed uh, delayed level 9 to 11. We want to continue to banish him and just punish him. Denying him pretty heavily. So if you're LGD gods and you look at these lanes, what sort of adjustment Dyer's do you look to make? Can you make an adjustment or are you just banking Dyer's on your mid game? I think you can make adjustments. This is like where their lanes are set right now is like all they can really do. Witch Doctor TP's bottom. This is just, just stole the push. Jawa, it's like, okay, that MP's finally decided he wants to push the tower, and this means Witch Doctor can TP down, stall this while getting some XP. But realistically, they just have to wait for Husky to get levels. Bat is just committed to jungle farming up his blink, so Yao's all in on his blink dagger right now. Um, and then the top lane, Jug just has to get what farm he can. Perhaps we could see a Jug rotation around his level 6, level 7, but. He hasn't got much mana, he's got a mango, but like a TP or oh, slash isn't really possible for him, so. Uh, they found Xiaowei bottom, quick waveform over the top after the fortune's end. We'll secure an easy kill, while Mina on the top lane. They want to make a go here on Super, doesn't have the mana for a Blade Fury. He already committed the Omni Slash here, trying to find a kill of his own. He will get bashed, and then brought down in the end. So he secret. went for a mango Omni Slash kill and just fumbled it. That's a disaster now. So they've lost their carry. The Morphling's been fed one. He's already up 17 CS. And Huskar not even farming all that well. He is finally slightly ahead of the OD, but they've completely abandoned this offlane with the young for you just AFK in the jungle. The one piece of good news is he will have a faster blink than last game if he doesn't die at the rate he's going, but it comes at a great cost, Guts. And you kind of look at the CSs and it doesn't, it doesn't really immediately look that bad for LGD, but it's just the fact there's a completely, utterly out of control free farming morph lane. Um, none of the lanes are going as dominant as you'd hope. The Jug just died. So the Jug dying, the Husker not winning his lane. There's just a lot of big issues going on right now for so what, LGD, what despite is, their cause. What is CS. going well for LGD? I challenge you to find the silver lining right um, now. Bat's uncontested free farm jungle, I guess. Bat but is that's beating like the jungle. Really if that can, can be considered a good thing, because it means he's not contesting the lane, but... Oh, he's they're dominating the those jungle creeps. We'll, we'll settle with that. That's what's going well for them. <laughs> Got him. Uh, and other bad news, MP's already taken a tower for the LGD fans out there. Uh, it's not good, Guts. He's up 1,300 gold already on the enemy Juggernaut. Generally, if you're going to slow down a Morphling, it is this stage of the game, the early lanes, where I wouldn't say he's horribly weak, but he... He can be a bit underwhelming if pressured, but that, that window's closed now. <laughs> yeah. Just the Helm of Iron Will picked up for Monet. Still a ways to go for his armlet here. So we'll see LPC head towards the bottom rune. He will grab a bounty. But until they get that armlet or the bad blank, they're they're not really doing anything, it seems. No, I'm not 
They can try force fights at that stage, like around the Roche pit, because Husker, of course, is able to solo Roche pretty well, but even that's kind of risky against the Void Chronosphere. Morphling. Curious to see what, if he rushes the Lincolns or tries to go for a bit more early game fighting presence, get the, the Dragon Lance, which is kind of the main, I guess, deviation in the standard Morphling build we sometimes see is the, the early Dragon Lance, but whether he does or doesn't, it's he's free farming away, so I don't think it's a, a huge difference maker. It just kind of limits how much he can fight if he doesn't get it. You see Going Secret for here. looking for that smoke play in the mid lane, yeah. They will There's group a up. lot of enemy heroes though. LGD may be ready for this. Oh, but Secret to have the high ground advantage. Also have Chrono available, no TP on 4 though. This could really come back to haunt them. DD up a mid one, it's only going to take a couple of auto attacks to secure kill. They go to Mene who gets absolutely chunked down. Mid one just grinning the pain onto him, but the death ward comes through. Together with the Maladic forcing back that faceless void. Still yet to even think about a teleport scroll pickup. He stuck around top the whole time. They lose two heroes. Well, they really could have yeah, used. I think, I think he may have TP'd to farm in the lane, so couldn't yeah. would have had the cooldown to come to the fight, but that, that does really hurt some guns. Now they were expecting just a quick pick off there, but LGD were had the same thing in mind. Let's four man smoke ink mid, so it turned into this 4v3 scenario where Secret, even though they initiate, it goes bad for them because it reveals where all their heroes are and allows the LGD flank from their smoke gank to really do a lot of damage. But even so, it's not like the end of the world. You kill the Husker, your OD isn't your you're creating space for Morphling to farm. Void is free farming top as well, so it's not all about the OD this game. They've got three cores that scale very well on the Secret side. Oh man, but hey, not having fun here early with the kind of start mid one had. He is definitely making life hard for the Huskar and those orbs. Even though there's not all that much in the way of items in the OG, still hurt a lot. But this could be the engine for the Top comeback. Lane. Young for they you, might go his blink. Or if has the Chrono, he's going to go back in. Super has an Omni, but don't know that he gets it off here. The Pile Die nukes raining in, and he will end up popping there to an extra Purifying Flame. It's already level three. So another death for the Juggernaut. This one, not so much his fault, but they're starting to add up. The Secret make their move on the mid lane, simultaneously trying to go on Monet. Can they keep him alive? Shall we? Doesn't have any points in the hill. He will drop very quickly. Now Young for you, getting off the last one, trying to focus down mid one, but it's instantly perched off because Highlight Die just hit level six. What perfect timing for that. Can't even kill off Puppy, who barely limps away with just a sliver of HP. The lone death is that OD, and it's going to come at greater cost. His MP has joined the fight. He makes it a team wipe secret. Just laying out LGD Forever Young. Oh boy, nice. talk about getting outplayed, gods. And they did all of that without even needing the Chrono in the mid fight. Yeah, Void, again, Void farming away. He's just top lane chilling, getting his farm on. Oracle shows up with a great false promise to bait him in. And this is like a big reason. Like that fight there, you can see why OD's coming back in. This max Astro build, it does a lot of AoE damage. You can't really get near to it. And he comes out, he stays alive for so long, gets off an extra Astral or two, and the new damage from that spell really just destroyed LGD. And a level two Berserker's Blood, especially before you have an armlet, it's, it's not really enough effective HP for him to live through the amount of damage the mid one can dish out uh, from that Astral Spam. So. I was even leveling up Overcharge. Normally you'll see the Spirits leveled up, but he was that was level three Overcharge on the Husker. But Hus I was about to say, I was just clicking the eye. I'm like, oh, he probably just has Spirits with level one Overcharge. That's why the Husker died so fast. I'm like, wait, no, that's level three Overcharge. Husker just melts to OD and oh boy. This is looking rough. And once mid one gets like a four staff or a hurricane pike, he gets some more HP up from the dragon lance, and he's going to be completely. Mid one given that bloodlust, that extra bit of move speed could potentially try to make a move on super astral. Good ultimate would be close to killing him, but young for you does have a lasso ready. He wants to use it. Doesn't Just have it. the flame break to able to turn the fight around, but they relocate forward. Moving on to mid one, will be able to almost focus him down. They get that second backline kill, and now they will turn around for the OD. Mid one to fall as well. They make it two for nothing, so that first relocate, a successful debut, and playing around the Chronosphere pull down quite nicely. They almost get a third kill in the form of 4 A bit too late to assist this team in that fight. We'll walk it off. Couldn't get the kill. Yeah, just not quite having the Chronosphere up, and OD getting initiated on it. He couldn't astral himself because the cast was bouncing between two there, so a really good cast coming out from Jawei to make those kills that, just that little bit easier, but they're coming back in. They've got Chronosphere. This could end badly for LGD. Chrono comes through, two hero connection, gets the bash of Monet, gets the kill on him, and now turning for Super. No Omni Slash available any longer, but the Io is here with that level up overcharge to try and save him. MP turning to the north, focusing on Xiao Hate, muscles down. That Witch Doctor now flapping away. It will be young for you, but overall for LGD, that last minute or so, gods, they force out a Chrono, they 
do lose their Huskar and their Witch Doctor, but they got a couple of core kills, and they also did take a tower, though. Right as I say that, MP, he gets a tower of his own, almost has a Lincoln's complete now if he wants it, and how are they going to deal with this Morphling? Um, I don't think they do, LD. I just don't think they do. They get, like, a Manta Defusal Jug. If Jug was, like, keeping up and farm and has Manta Defusal... It's like a basher and a blink dagger or something at some point. Yeah, he, he can fight all right, but he's going for a very phase drum build. This is not a guild for dealing with Morphling. That red is just a bad matchup for Morphling in general, too. Nice Maledict here by Xiao Wei, but is there any sort of follow up? Gets chunked down by mid one, dropped quite low, and now the Witch Doctor. Or, uh, sorry, excuse me, the Huskar arrives, moves on the pilot, I gets the ultimate off on himself, just stalling while the rest of the team retreats. It'll be a noble sacrifice here. He tries to kill out Xiao Wei. He will be unsuccessful in that attempt, but. Even when Secret lose something, for the most part, it's been minor casualties. The, the Morkway not dying, the Void farming quite well. Minor casualties, trades happening elsewhere, vo Voids yeah, farming and pushing a T1 tower. I don't know if he'll get this one or not, but it's starting to look like he might. I don't really see TPs coming out. Jug could theoretically, but no one else really has a TP available, and it looks like instead they're going to go for Roshan. So this is, a, this is always a key objective when you're playing a Husker strat, something secret. May just be saying, look, we can't really contest it, but if they group up for a smoke, yeah, no chrono for 30 though. Maybe a bit risky to go there. You see, four as hitting the top tower radiant scan is uh, gonna barely clip uh, young for you and Shao as they walk out of the pit. And the Roche, yeah, we just get there in time, and it's it's not worth risking a lost fight here. You've just taken P1, you don't have chronosphere. For secret, you're not scared of the ages. Puppy though, should maybe be a bit scared of Yao. Lasso onto the ugly ogre, but he just lumbers away. Will be allowed to retreat. So they get their nice. agent. Love Puppy too, going for a very support-oriented build. Not the max ignite that perhaps is a bit more common. But you look at all the three cores on his team; they all benefit a ton from having bloodlust at this stage of the game. Level four bloodlust. Morphling right clicks pretty damn hard considering his items and farm right now. Dragonlance Lincoln's complete. Fifteen minutes in. MP is huge. So for LGD, they have the armlet on Monet now. He closes in on that level 9 to 11 mark just now, eclipsing level 9. Generally, we see teams at this stage just look to siege behind the Huskar and hit towers. They do have Healing Ward. Like, you can see the synergy of the lineup with the maxed out overcharge, at least the one point in Buddha Restoration, but is it going to be fast enough, gods? Because already with the max Bloodlust, the farm more flame, a Vlad's on for it, it feels like Seeker could push just about as fast, and there's not too much... LGD can really do to stop them from split pushing. Huskar can TP and they've got the relocate to back him up. Try to bait with this Huskar, the Chrono committed, but it also catches LPC. He's a fairly squishy IO. Is he going to be able to get up that match? Well, he will, but he ends up dropping anyway. The OG may fall after the Dashville, but already the agent cracked open. The support down as well. Mid one standing his ground. The hammer drop blows up to a complete slaughter in the top lane. And straight on the Monet. They fought their way through a Huskar Agent. He ain't so scary after all. It's the Ogre who's the real beast in the front line. Puppy stands his ground. They team wipe their way through an Aegis. Six to nil in that particular fight. Yikes. And uh, this might be where they just call the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't TP. You can't expect to TP in one by one to defend a tower when your opponents are already at your tower pushing. Even with the IR. I think if they want to do that, they need to TP in like one hero. Like a jug, and then have an IO relocate, like, and then TP in two while IO relocates the other two. You can't expect to TP in one by one because each TP takes longer and longer. The Husker is alone, then the IO shows up, and the Chronos from those two, the follow up TPs take forever. Jug doesn't get an Omni Slash too. He was Blade Furying away and died during the Blade Fury. Also, it's a level one Omni Slash, so I think even if he gets off, it makes no difference. You're trying to fight with level one Omni Slash? Yikes. That was just a really bad fight choice from LGD. They are getting to work here in the mid lane. Secret, no chrono for now, but some decent damage done and pretty desperate smoke by LGD. They just lost a fight with the Aegis, got team wiped and back for nothing, and now they're going to try to make something happen in the mid lane. They do grab Puffy, but he's instantly kept alive by the false promise. They commit a dunk onto him. Do they just turn back and kill a Monet? Chrono currently on cooldown, and LGD trying to capitalize on that very back, but already super low. They won't risk the fight without the chrono, but 20 seconds it holds up a blink on 4 BOT's on the Morphling along with that Lincoln's already, so if they don't want to fight, their ability to split push just ramped up by a significant factor. LGD will try to push a little bit further, but 
God, these guys blink chrono. They're gonna fight this, I think. <laughs> Forrest just taking out the healing lord. And LTD doing a really good job of fighting when Chrono's down, but it's back up now and they haven't retreated. That's what they're doing a bad job. Oh dear. Three hero Chrono. Shall we not call, but a good time dilation there. LPC just tethering himself right into the Chrono. He didn't get the relocate out, it looks like, as the Astral came through, holding Monet in position. The rest of LGD on the run. Four Ev looking for the bash to finish on Shao Wei in the back line, but also elsewhere in the front line. Down goes the Huskar to combine him with the Bat Rider. And on top of that, Shao Wei falls. That's three more, four more hitting the deck. In the end, yeah. all too easy for Secret. LGD just look completely outmatched. Yeah, it, it really is. I, I I don't know. This just doesn't look like the, the Xiao Wei shot calling you'd normally see. Like, taking the fight with Chrono down where they get the kill, great. Pushing the T2 tower when Chrono's just come back up and grouping up for a three-man Chrono. It wasn't like Secret did anything special to bait them into that huddled up position to hit that Chronosphere. That was just LGD grouping up by the tower to push. and. It just feels like there's a lack of direction and shot calling for this LGD team. That was just really bad sloppy play. I don't know how else they expected that fight to go down, pushing into Chronosphere. Yeah, perhaps Xiao Wei spending a, a little too much time trolling the, the Cam Girl website for Zai and not enough time <laughs> practicing with this team, guys. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Look, he needs to get his priorities straight. Not like he's won a TI or anything, you know? I mean, sure, the guy's a celebrity and all, but that doesn't mean you could just rock up hunt over and you know, after a fun night out in the town and expect to dominate the likes of the mighty secret. He's done that before with Big God, so who knows? <laughs> he probably thought he could, you know, he's like, ah, oh, I've been in this position before. We make some casual retirement team and we just go do better than every other Chinese team at these events, but perhaps things are getting a bit harder here in 2016 for him. <laughs> On a serious note, they are a new roster uh, with some less experienced faces to be sure. And it is only yeah, one series, but it has been a spanking at the hands of Secret. Well, this is, yeah, I mean, it's, this puts them in, if they lose this fourth place in their group, so guaranteed lower bracket start, but they're not out of the tournament by any means. Oh, uh, poor Super. One, maybe who could at least hope to force out a Chrono. He instead, he goes for the Omni, but already prepared with Pilot Eye with the False Promise. And that Healing Ward, the last survivor of this particular gank, also will fall. No mercy from poor Evan. Oh, let's see how this LGD gank goes on the other side. They look for MP. They've got to break the Lincolns and Lasso and focus him down. He has a Ghost Scepter on top of this. Could they really get the dump done? Death Ward Maledict. He's so damn tanky. And out he goes. Just calmly able to make it away. And the whole team suddenly there to turn this thing around. Chronosphere comes through. The Morphling kept alive. Monet getting clubbed down by an Ogre. Death by a support hitting you inside the Chrono. Now that's embarrassing. Three. About to be four unless LPC can TP himself away. And actually, it will be four, not five. The lone survivor, a puny IO. Yeah, I like how LPC could have he could have relocate saved the bat at the end there, but now he's like, I'm just gonna TP home. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go for the relocate save. You're on your own, Yao. You're gonna die. I'm just gonna TP home. Well, the folks out there, they wanted the next slide, and uh, the final slide of this one is a decisive Team Secret victory, guys. Yeah. That PowerPoint was... concluded. Straightforward stuff. Well presented, LD. Um, yeah, I don't know. Secret, uh, it's, it's one of those things where I think Secret looked fine yesterday when they were losing. They looked decent here. This, this is such a series where I, I don't walk away with this one like, man, Secret are really amazing and dominant. I think LGD just played and drafted quite badly. Um, not to take anything away from Secret, they did what they needed to win the series. But and I go back to what I said yesterday where I'd say this Secret roster looks very solid and a team that can be a top competitor. But I don't think this is the series I look at which proves that. I think you have to look towards their next series to, to really show that or not. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Gods. What do we have coming up next? I believe it's our uh, Group B lower bracket round one match. Yeah, Vici and IGV are playing. All right. Uh, I believe we're going to have Connell Guy and is it Merlini stepping in or Lumi? Yeah. Um, I, mm, good question. Good Someone, question, someone's LD. gonna show up and cast this game. Uh, there's a chance I might, as Dakota is waiting to get his car and head over to the office. It was a very quick 2-0. I think generally they have been starting the games back to back, so not sure how long the break will be, guys. But as soon as we know when the next.